these miles. It's a new week technically for me, so I'm gonna try to hit the road and forget this week happened. That one was a doozy. Hopefully, I can uh, really put the thing pedal to the floor this week and get some miles. I got completely screwed last week. They didn't fix shit. The whole weekend at the shop and it's still doing the same shit. That coat comes and goes. Hopefully, whatever's up with it, I don't know. If it's gonna derate me again. Suck. GPS took me right into a crazy, like, residential area in the freaking mountains. So, thankfully, able to get out of there without doing any damage. I'm trying to stay positive. Maybe it'll be fine. I'll hit the road and it'll be fine. Or I'll end up in the shop again. Try this. It's got a power switch here. Turn that off for 10 or 15 seconds. A couple minutes, whatever the situation is. 
turn it back on, see if it'll clear the code. There's nowhere for you to go out here, but you're gonna have to wait. Why do you do that? It gets right up close to me and slaps me with his ears. It's very annoying. The code's on the truck went away again, so hopefully it'll stay away this time. That'd be cool. The old company I used to work for that's right across the street from that yard in uh, Dakota City. I might look to see where the next truck stop is to get fuel because this place is packed. We got a little over a quarter of a tank, should be enough to get fuel. We need to pull around here and get fuel. The next one is down near 90 miles away, which I have enough fuel to get to, but it's a pilot. I don't like fueling pilots. The pumps are crap, their DF pumps are crap. I just rather not mess with it.
pretty full on DEF, but I'm trying to put as much fresh DEF in there as I can. Hopefully it'll dilute whatever got in there. If I can only get a gallon or two, it'll still dilute it some. If this DEF is any good. I'm just gonna wait on Ms. Yehu to get out of here because I can't back out because the traffic's too heavy.
I would have liked to get a little further down the road today, but I was about to go through my like 500th traffic jam and I'm losing time every time that happens. Not to mention I'm being slowed down going up the hills because of derating. So I just, I'm calling it so I can run at night and not have to deal with the psychopaths that run during the day. As if I'm in good shape to make it there on time as long as my truck doesn't completely break down tomorrow. Imagine that, my truck didn't self-heal overnight. That's kind of what we were hoping for, but it didn't happen. Isn't that something? Hmm. All right. Glad to uh, caffeine. <laughs> Hope this thing doesn't shut me down sometime tonight. Completely stop me from all. stay around 70 I only get dropped down to 60 65 but every time I go through one of these stupid 45 mile an hour work zones it takes me 10 miles to get back up to speed because I got no power especially when the end of that work zone is at the bottom of the hill so as soon as I start climbing the hill I start dropping speed Come from the center turn lane to get in here. Unreal. I still barely made that turn. But I'm here. Good morning. 
morning. No, I got it. Okay, first name? Roger. Roger that. Cell phone number? 918. Go ahead and open up your doors. And you're going to put it in door number 9. Okay. I'll call you when it's done. Please, sir. I'm sure how long they plan to take here so I haven't talked about sleep I'm trying not to talk about it because it's annoying to me I know it's got to be annoying to you but I'm tired we'll just leave it at that so I'm gonna lay down try to get 20 30 40 minutes or an hour however long it takes them to get me unloaded a little bit of sleep and then uh, hopefully by the time I get unloaded they'll know where they're sending me next I know it's got to be going towards the yard because this truck is still acting stupid it got worse through the night not better it went from 25 percent degraded to now it's showing two different codes one says 25 one says 40 I'm not sure if that's cumulative like, does that mean 65 or does that mean 40? Because I know it got way, way worse at climbing hills. And I mean, not hills, but like hills. <laughs> like, and it lugged down. So it was fine as long as I could keep momentum, which kept me on my toes, making damn sure I wasn't coming up on people. Because uh, if I slowed down, it, it takes three four miles to get back up to speed let's see did my truck magically fix itself i didn't get a nap by the way it, was, it only took 20 minutes to unload me nope now i'm fully derated go inform these guys that i can't leave until the tow truck gets here i can pull out of the dock but there's nowhere else for me to park out of the way so I'll just tell him that the tow truck's on the way. The tow truck gets here, I can pull out to him and he can hook up to me, but at least in the dock door, I'm not in everybody's way. My truck's broke. They're sending a tow truck. What truck is this? Door nine. Door nine? All right. They'll be here as soon as they can and I'll be out of your way. Okay. It'd be a real interesting situation. Uh, Tow truck driver's on his way here. When he gets here, he's gonna have me drop this trailer. He's gonna drag the trailer out of here to a drop yard somewhere. And because they don't have space for the trailer at the dealership. And then come back for the truck. This is why I have a dog. You know, I'm having a bad day. About to go get towed to a freaking dealership and I'm sitting here wrestling with the dog 
laughing at him, being goofy, not even thinking about stuff because he's so darn cute and silly. You know what I mean? It's, Diesel, come here. Come here. Come here. You gotta be good, okay, fellow? Good news is he thinks there's he's pretty sure of himself and he says it's the other sensor that needs to be replaced. Good news is that's only about a two hour job. Bad news is they don't have the parts. Because they can get the parts is tomorrow. I got my truck down super quick. Uh, I'm in a hurry because the place that has my trailer closes in less than an hour. And it's only a 15 minute drive, but it's through like city traffic in the afternoon. So I gotta haul ass over there and try to get this trailer picked up. They got a load waiting on me in Hillsdale, Illinois at the Tyson plant. So it's going to South Carolina, which I haven't been to South Carolina. I guess I have. I went, it wasn't that long ago. But, it, but before that, it was years. But anyway, they're trying to get me some miles for the weekend because I've been, you know, screwed on miles the last few days. But uh, the part that they ordered for my truck never showed up. So there's another truck here. I don't know who, whose truck, but it's waiting on a bunch of different things. So they stole the sensor off of it for my truck. So I didn't have to sit here all weekend waiting on parts, which was awesome.
Well, they uh, switched the load on me about the same time I got to pick up the trailer. Uh, picking up something out of Interstate Warehouse down the road here tomorrow morning. It's going up to Lamar's. Uh, the other load, I, once I got a better look at it, sucked anyway. There was like way too much time on it and I wasn't going to get paid this week on those miles. So uh, I'm hoping I get up to Lamar's, get delivered and they'll have something on me right off the of 10 so I can get some more miles in this weekend. It's going to be Friday night. Come on, butthead. Anyway. Hopefully, it'll run longer than a day this time. That would that'd be great. But we shall see. Not holding my breath, but... Anyway. I think if I have anything else to say. I'm just going to edit this video and chill out. It picks up at 10 a.m., so I'll roll out of here at like 8, 8 in the morning, get over there and try to get loaded as early as possible. It's weird the thing shows that it delivers at 2 p.m. tomorrow. doesn't make any sense. It's 500 miles. picks up at 10. That won't happen. Until right. so next time, thanks for watching.